I just got off a call with a prospect and they had some questions around goals. And so I did a bit of a demo, but um, they had questions around like privacy. And so if they're setting up OKRs, um, how do they set them as private? They want to establish them for the company without anyone else coming in. So um, show them a couple examples, but traditionally we would go in, we'd create our goal here, right? And then you can go and you can press private over here and put your different members in and set the time period and then save that goal. And then you got to come in and um, add in your description and all of that um, kind of stuff. So you've got to do that for every level of your your different goals but um, they're they're evaluating enterprise and so i showed them um, goal templates and so when you're in the goals module uh, if you're on enterprise and up you'll see the edit goals template here and you can create different templates so we've got the individual goals we've got objectives we've got key results you can have them on or off but when you go in you can do a few things you can have um, the template where you can name it whatever you want to you can have the title and my recommendation is to make it something descriptive so that anyone using the goal template knows exactly how you want them structured so you can have that consistency um, in this case yeah company goals or objectives at least we want them to be company goals but we could set them as quarterly um, forgive me team goals and then um, the reminder as well these are things you don't have to check off every single time if you want to be able to standardize them and so it's one of the ways you can just get to it faster and then again in your description you can have something descriptive um, to just guide the person you know who is putting together I guess the definition of done in this case then when the goal is actually populated you can use AI on the platform to better refine the definition of done the title of the goal but at least you got a really good starting point and then we go to manage access you can make it so that anyone you know can edit um, that goal um, anyone in the organization can comment or you can make it private to members so if you're on the leadership team and you're getting started with your goals you can come and set the standard right here so that every objective that you set already has um, these parameters and then has the people that you want to um, be able to view that goal as well so um, that's one thing you can do and then you can do that for your key results as well but something else i want to show you that you may not have seen yet and again um, this is for enterprise and up but uh, with the traditional goals here for the company you know we're all familiar with you know this kind of drop down accordion style and then the more objectives you have the more complex it gets and you have to go into each um, key result to then see the projects that are connected and how we're measuring that success but i'm really excited about this new strategy map and so what we're able to do now is see at a glance all of your objectives up at the top linked to the mission um, your key results and then any projects that they're connected to or this could be sub goals in any case um, you can change your time frame here as well you can have it for the entire company you can zo zoom in and see it for a team um, you can uh, zoom in zoom out whatever you want and then be able to just get that holistic picture so i think this is really cool because we've been missing this for a long time asana often talks about the work graph and we see like that pyramid with tasks at the bottom then projects and portfolios but now we can actually see it visually inside um, of asana here and we can go and we can create select from our our templates as well and then we can um, look at you know really filtering any goals that are off track at risk so we can just go in and kind of highlight those quickly and then you can add other um, filters by owner as well so some cool updates from asana figured i would just show that to you quickly um, if you're evaluating asana looking at enterprise there's some really cool updates that will help you um, get your okrs in line and really standardize how your team works so try it out let me know what you think